safety. Hello everyone, Wiggle 2 has been out for a while now. In this video, I will introduce the new features of Wiggle 2 and discuss some issues related to baking animations. Let's get started. This is the GitHub repository for Wiggle 2. I will place it below the video. Big thanks to the developer who created this incredibly useful tool for Blender. To install Wiggle 2, you only need to download this Python file. Click this link to download it to your computer. Now in Blender, I have a looping running animation. The skirt and hair don't have animated yet. I'm using Blender version 3.3.1, and Wiggle 2 supports the latest versions. Click on Edit. Preferences. Go to the Add-ons section. Install the Python file you downloaded. And enable the add-on. It will appear in the right-hand side toolbar. Select the armature bones. Switch to pose mode. Choose all the bones for the hair. There's a bone that connects the skirt to the waist and shouldn't move. Do not select it. Select the rest of the skirt bones. Now go to the wiggle panel. Check bone tail to apply physical simulation to the selected bones. Play the animation to see the effect. This is a looping animation. Under global settings, check loop physics. Since the skirt and hair are connected, select the bones that are set up for simulation. Enable chain. The physics simulation might seem excessively shaky at first. Try increasing the calculation quality. It's better now. At this point, the hair and skirt are passing through the character's body. This isn't what I want. To solve this use Wiggle 2's new collision feature. In my animation, the hair and skirt mainly collide with the character's body. So, I've separated the character into parts. You can do this based on your animation's needs. Return to pose mode. Select the bones that are set up for simulation. Under collisions, there are two modes. Choose the one that suits you. I'm using the default object. Select the split body. As we can see, the hair is no longer passing through the body. Here, you can adjust the radius parameter to control bone collision distance. I think the default value is better for my animation. When the character runs, there should be an effect of air resistance. Let's add a wind force. Position it facing the character. Back in pose mode, choose the added wind force from the wind options. Increase the strength of the wind, you'll see its effect.
this value represents the wind force multiplier. I think the current wind strength is suitable for my animation. The skirt's swinging motion seems a bit uniform. I want the animation's amplitude to be more significant. Mass refers to bone weight, representing their heaviness. Stiffness relates to elasticity, similar to spring hardness. Stretch deals with elongation. Damp represents resistance. I want the skirt to swing more as it goes down. So the lower the bone stiffness setting, the lower the effect I want. Let me set it up quickly. Open the top level bone head of the hair bones to allow it to follow head movements. Adjust the hair's softness and stiffness. At this point, the effect is mostly meeting my expectations. Now, let's proceed to bake the simulation animation. Select the bones. If you don't bake, unexpected results might occur during rendering animation. Check the overwrite current action. If you don't check this, Wiggle 2 will create a new action. Other bones animations won't be retained in this new action. Click Bake. You might notice that the loop physics doesn't seem to work. Let me explain the specific reason with a short animation. This is a simple looping animation that has been baked already. Delete the baked animation. A tip, once the animation is baked, the simulation will be frozen. Click this button to restart the simulation. Here, I've enabled Cyclic. Extended the timeline. After baking again, you can see that some parts in the middle are looping. Adjust the timeline to its previous length. Select the middle part. These sections are looping, which is what we need. Next is the key point. After simulating for around 20 plus frames, the animation stabilizes into a looping state. Here's where pre-roll comes in. It's about how many frames are simulated before baking to achieve the desired looping state. Delete the animation and set it up accordingly. Let's set it to 25 and take a look. Not perfect. Try increasing this value and see. Still a slight issue. Increase it again. This time, it's finally perfect. Although it's a bit higher than expected, this approach is correct. So, the pre-roll value depends on the animation's length. Just make it a bit longer than the animation's length. Usually I set it larger to ensure a perfect loop. Alright, it's done.
Here's another animation. I've only created a falling animation for this bone and applied simulation to these three bones. Since it's not a looping animation, the pre-roll can be set to any value. Okay, that covers all the content of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're using an earlier version of Wiggle, welcome to watch my previous video. Thanks, and see you next time.